So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to control the sleeve, I'm going to control this collar on the same side. Okay, so I've got this sleeve, this collar. No, this collar. Okay. So I'm going to start here. I want it here to get this leg in front. That's what I'm looking for. So I can just move around. The second that leg gets in front, I can start to step. So, two ways to do it. First one, I can step, weave my leg up to his hip, and then I can put my other foot into check and stop him coming around the corner. This is a great attacking position for me because here the first thing that Peter really has to do is turn and step towards me, which gives me an opportunity to start attacking and sweeping and doing all kinds of different things. Okay. So I'm kind of set off to the side. You notice that my hips aren't flat. My legs are kind of in like a, um, uh, what's it called? a squat position, right? They're in a squat position. Okay, I'm not kind of open anywhere like this, which is an unnatural position. So I'm here nice and strong. I grip into his collar, pull this down on top of my leg, and I just control the sleeve. Extend away. So I'm going to start here. I look to catch my grips. His leg's already in front, so I don't need to do anything. I step around, weave my leg up, and then check my other foot. Okay. Again, this grip is super important. If I'm not backed up by my thigh, if I'm just here, if he tries to posture out of it, yeah, he can do it pretty easily. If I lock this into my thigh, he goes to posture out of it. He's not going anywhere anymore. It's using like, it's kind of like scaffolding. It's supporting my grip. Okay, stay away, and then let's start. Okay, he's just going to alternate that drill. So he can do the same thing. He's going to go same side. This is important. Okay, nice little pocket grip here. You make sure that I've got this leg in front. Steps around, checks here. This hook, make sure it's nice and tight up into that thigh. Okay, and if you can, stuff this one down. Turn this grip this way. So it's locked in behind that. It's like almost like a bicep curl. Okay, and then you can just push away with his legs and stand up. Okay. That's all I want you guys to do to start. Are okay. your feet touching? They can do. Yeah, they, they can do. Really. So when I go here, uh, that's kind of the wrong angle for you to see, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so when they're here, I use this in a lot of different places. It can be on his stomach, it can be on his shoulder, it can be on his knee. Okay, so it really depends what he's trying to do. I like this one up on the shoulder a lot of the time because the grab all of my ankles. Are you taking my foot off the shoulder? Okay. Either way, anyway. Uh, okay. Alright, now, if I'm here, take my foot off your hip. Is it different? Okay, so just putting my foot up on his shoulder, this is good. And at any time I like, I can be attacking with the triangle. So you can play around with your foot positioning as well. But just remember the principles. I'm offline to him. I'm not square here because he can be passing straight away. I'm over here. Okay, guys. Okay. Yeah, it's like a single leg squat. This leg's already weaving up to his hip. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging off Pete. Like, be strong. I know that's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> like when I step, I'm hanging off Pete to set him. Okay, so that brings his collar down. I'm not dropping and then trying to pull him down. Okay, so when we go here. In my position, I step, rock. So now he's already broken him down into this position. And he's already off balance. Okay. So that was the big thing. And then the other thing is this, this arm is just going to run along the back of my thigh. Okay. So my palms up, gripping it in. I'm good inside here. And this hand, just stuff it. It can be here, and often it'll be on like my collar, which is fine. Okay, but good control over it. And I tend not to, just stand up to me. I tend not to try and go all the way to that far hip. Okay, I tend to stay in here to start with. Okay, it gives me better control over this knee. Like if I go all the way through here, it's okay, but he can start spiraling out and stepping out where it starts and back stepping onto me. I'm just going into here. Okay, the difference is, if I go through deep, yes, look, he can be on my knee, or he can just be in like a part of strong passing position. If I go shallow, he goes to my knee. So just back step. Look, my knee blocks this. Okay, so it keeps the, it checks the distance and controls the distance. Again, the same, he's not going to be able to pull through the knee bar or anything like that. So I'm just here. Locked in, I toe through and then hook it back. Create this strong angle so I'm turning. And then this way. Okay, guys? Does that make sense? So have a go again for me. Here, okay, yeah. step. Look, my foot's already up. Fast as I can, it's up off the ground. Now, to get this position, I go here, here, and I lift my hips, and I'm gonna slightly rotate over a little bit as well. So I'm bringing my knee into the, the, kind of the center of his back. Okay, okay so, what, uh, yeah, I'm kind of on my, this is exaggerated, but we will go to it. 
kind of on my uh, right shoulder here. Okay, you notice that my knees are bent, I'm not kicking him away as well. Like, I'm here. First attack, take your foot off the hip, shoot it through, change the angle and lock the triangle. And you'll fall to a tight triangle when you do it. All right. So again, I pull De La Hiva, move his hand out a little bit, my foot comes up to his hip, now I'm gonna lift, get cramp in my toe, <laughs> slightly turn over to my right, bring my foot off the hip, kick through, then I change the angle underneath. So I go to here. Chop this one down, recircle my foot, and then I'm gonna, just, this is, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, he's done. But I do have to watch him, like, trying to snap and turn the corner. Good. Yeah. This way? Yeah. Simplest way to do that is go like this. <laughs> if he can't bring that arm across, it's going to be really difficult. Sometimes I do this. Like, so I take away any of his ability to um, post out on his hand. Okay. So he's kind of like, all of his weight sat down for me. To finish the triangle, like, all I do is I pull my toes up to the the ceiling, pinch this down, and then pinch my legs together. Okay, that's it. That will start you off. If you get this movement, so the movement is this scissoring action. Okay, so when I lock, it locks up, pinches through, pinches down, and closes this way. See the gap completely disappears? That's where it's headed. This head is in there. It feels like you're like chopping someone's head off earlier. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. So one more time we that. So I pull De La Hiva, my feet instantly come up to the hips, move his hand out, heel of my foot up, lift, slight twist, leg kicks off, so I pull it clear, step through. Okay, up high, turn the corner, cinch his up. Okay, to finish, lock my toes up towards the ceiling, leg comes down, drive through. Any questions? So again, I'm in this position, it's full of De La Hiva guard, right? I open his hand a little bit, my foot comes up, now I lift my hips and I start to turn. Okay. Once I'm turning, I go belly down, my foot goes tight and I put my shin on the back of his head. Now I'm rolling across my face, yeah. and I'm looking towards his legs now, because I know at some point this is going to roll, and I want to be there, ready, to catch it. Key detail, so I don't try and pinch the arm bar from here. I turn my hips so they're facing towards his legs. Bring my foot over and try and pinch catch the arm bar. Okay. This is what you're doing. Okay, this. So, if you can do that, you can do the arm bar. <laughs> Does everybody think they can do that? Okay. Now, one key thing. When I'm doing it, I'm not, I'm not doing it like this. Doing it like this. So my knees stay in towards me. I was talking to someone about this about stretching out. I'm not stretching with my legs as well. Okay. I'm lifting, so I'm pushing down, lifting up, pulling. And when I go, I go belly down. Here. Now I'm looking for his leg. And almost from the point that I'm belly down, my knees are cramped, right? They're tight on his, on his arm, straight away. There's no way. Yeah. Pull, open, see my hips. Any questions? Take it slow. Use your hips. And you will, you will roll across your face. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. None of you guys are pretty enough to care. <laughs> so when you go over, I'm going this way, face down, look, let my nose get squashed, Just look out the other side, and looking through his legs. So, start the same, move this out, lift my hips. Now as I lift, I'm turning and pushing. Shin, so I'm driving over this way, shin comes over. I, can, I use my foot in front of this face, you can smell my toes a little bit. Take my foot off, plant it, from here to here, bring my hips out, and down. Does that make sense? Yes. It's a pretty simple way to start attacking the other platter. And then we'll look at the finish in a second. So again, pulling down, move his hand out, lift. Now as I lift, 
and turn, I punch. I use my knees, but my knees are going over this way. Okay. Foot comes in front of the face, foot to the floor, rotate my hips. And I finish just with triangling my legs. Okay. Any questions, guys? Why are you trying to? <laughs> why are you trying to your legs at the end? Uh, so, when I go here, I'm trying to trap his elbow into this position. Right? Yeah. One of my keys is keeping his elbow from going back to here. See how it comes in from the yeah. side? Yeah. So by triangling, I use the same triangle I did before. It stops his elbow being able to be pulled out, no matter where he goes. So this is one of my key focus points. If I'm ever losing it, I can come back and readjust it so it's tight. And the triangle works well for this one, as long as you're pinched tight. If I'm loose, he's always got that kind of little bit of space that he can go out. If I cross, it's still squeezed, but it's a little bit more difficult. You know, in a triangle, it's good tight. And I can still use this to move around if I need to, or start cooking. It'll extend it back to the center. Okay, guys? So that's what I try to do. It's all about controlling that. Elbow from coming out from between your legs. Yeah. Okay? Pull that guard. Lift my hips, I turn, stuff this down, bring my foot in front of the face, get the knees to the ground. Okay, now, from here, once I'm in this position, the next thing I need to do is get his shoulder to touch the ground, the front of his shoulder. Okay, because I'm sure there's a fancy medical term for it, I don't know. Okay, I can't remember. So, what I do is I transition from here to his elbow, place my hand on the ground, and stretch my legs down to it. So, I go from here. Here, and I'm pinching. This will drive a lot of weight through his shoulder. Lift your head up. Now I'm going to sit up, keeping that pressure in his arm, and I try and scissor. Um, because of my knee, I can't do it very well on this side. But you try and keep the triangle and scissor it back this way. Okay, so if you can keep it crossed, if you can't, no problem. Just remember that we're focused on keeping the, uh, the two tricep right, the back of his arm on my thigh. I'm not letting it slip to here. It's here. Now, to complete this, I need to put, get him to the ground. So I reach over his hip, I reach next to his leg, I move my feet out, and I pull him sideways. Drop him down. Switch my feet, sit up, go to his far shoulder. This is my, the most common way that I finish it. And then it's just like a Kimura. I try and take his hand, slide it up his back. The way that I do that, I pull, now I'm lifting my hips up and forwards. Okay, I'm not just bending. Okay, I need to figure out how I can get his arm to slide up his back. And that's going to be with my hips. Okay, so I'm trying to go. Make sense? So that was a quite a few extra details. Pull Della Eva. Pull Della Eva. Move his hand out. Lifted. Turn. Okay, foot in front of the face. Sit my hips down to the ground. Hand goes to his tricep. Now I cross my legs, sit up. I'm trying to drive his shoulders to the floor. So I'm actively squeezing this. This top leg is like driving down, like I'm doing a, like the end of a deadlift, the end of a squat. You should never fully extend your leg in your legs, of course. But remember that, kids. <laughs> I go here. Now I catch over to his hip so I can adjust my hips. Pull it out, scissor my legs, send them back this way. Okay. Still got this triangle if you can, that's great. Can't, it's okay to do it like this. But remember, we're focused on the tricep. Okay, now, reach over his hip, reach to his leg. Okay, the reason I reach to his leg, if I don't, he's just gonna shuffle with me. Okay, and I won't be able to pull his hips to the ground. If I block his leg, he can't shuffle with me. So I can just keep pulling this down. Reach to his tricep. Okay, now I'm gonna sit. Sometimes I like to grab here if I feel I'm losing it. Sit my hips forwards. Finish the old part. And you get this lovely triple family. Which is great. Makes sense, guys? One more time. I go here, sit in, hip up, break this one over. Put the face, escape my hips. Just try to sit and turn. Sit back. Reach over, reach over. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Look, just 
quickly take note of where my feet are. Uh, away from me. I got from being ear twisted. Ear twisted. So I'm on my butt cheek. On butt cheek. Top of the butt cheek. <laughs> now I'm here. You still keep that weight towards me. Okay, guys. Any questions?